Hey my friends, welcome back to a new video. Today we'll be talking about the present energy and the great breakthroughs that are happening right now when it comes to that intuitive sensation of the energies which can help us to experience more breakthroughs in our lives. So yesterday we had a powerful new moon in the zodiac sign of Gemini and we've been talking a lot about experiencing greater insights, connecting more with our intuitive side to recognize how this heavier energies which were present have affecting us and what we've learned from those heavier states. And right now we are moving towards lighter energies which started with that new moon and I want to bring you a, an energy update which can help you a little bit to navigate yourself through the present times. So firstly often we, we may recognize that sometimes it takes an overwhelming breakdown to have an undeniable breakthrough and that's where we are right now. As I received many messages in the previous days from many of you which were going through those harder days. Some people went through those uh, dark nights of the soul, which means that we go through our darkest moments, through moments where we lose that connection with the spirit or we lose that connection with the true self and we start questioning the meaning of life, we start questioning who we actually are and what is our mission and those questions slowly bring us back to the greater coherence with our true self so we can recognize why we are here at the first place. So often we need to go through this overwhelming breakdowns to, to have an undeniable breakthroughs. And many of you may feel right now the signs or symptoms, which I will explain to you, which are actually symptoms of what we could call a spiritual breakthrough. So you may feel right now more connected with your true self again, or with your higher self, if you want to call it that way. Or you may experience more synchronicities right now, or you are experiencing more and more and more synchronicities, which are like vibrational alignments, which are manifesting in your reality as different signs, which can awaken certain beliefs in your mind, which can reaffirm that you are actually doing a great job or a great work. And, and your reality is a mirror of your internal state. So every time we start experiencing synchronicities, it may remind us that we are aligning our vibration and more we start experiencing synchronicities, more it can be an affirm to us that, that manifestations are coming, that we are walking the right path, that everything is going well and this is your time of transformation, so keep it up. You may also feel or experience more of this kind of spiritual downloads, as I often say that this way, which we experience the way that we start um, receiving really powerful, inspiring ideas. And that's where I like to say that the universe has chosen you to, to experience that idea because you have the talents, you have the gifts, you have the power to make it happen. So use it. If you're experiencing powerful inspiration right now, write down what you're experiencing, write down what you're receiving and put it somewhere where you will be able to see it so you will not forget it. So you will remind yourself every single day, I can do it, I will do it and I'm doing it right now. So you can, you know, reprogram yourself because so often we start acting in our lives unconsciously. Like if neuroscience is saying 95% of our day, we are acting unconsciously. If we put some reminders somewhere where we can see them to remind us what we want to do, we may become more conscious of our daily choices or tiny little, you know, tiny little choices we make to, to get closer to those wanting manifestations or wanting things we want to experience. So remind yourself what you want to do with your life because when it comes to that energy of experiencing breakthroughs, when you're, when, when you're experiencing that, that easier energy once again, 
it is here to, to, to help you to get closer to your wanting destination, but at the same time to remind you that you are already where you need to be, that you don't need to be anywhere else. Of course you have dreams, because dreams are like inspiring us to, to do something new or to create something new, but we are exactly where we need to be. Once we realize that we are exactly where we need to be, we start appreciating ourselves, appreciating ourselves more. We start accepting ourselves more and we start trusting the journey much more. So before you do anything, remind yourself that you are exactly where you need to be. Things that are happening for you are happening exactly the way they need to happen so they can trigger the parts of yourself which will start questioning life for your greater transformation. So, my friends, wherever you can find yourself right now, take a moment to celebrate where you are. Because if you would reflect your past right at this moment, you would see that you went through many beautiful moments and you went through many hard moments and all of those moments shaped you so you are right now who you are. And if you look deep within, you will find out many, many powerful lessons life has taught you. And once you embrace those lessons and apply them in your life, you will experience a great and powerful transformation. So once you, once you recognize the lessons you've gained during all those different moments, and once you apply them in your daily life, for example, you've learned to become uh, like the power of kindness, how much um, your relationships change when you become more kind to yourself first and to people around you. You recognize that people start projecting more love to you and suddenly you start attracting more kind people to you. It's a powerful lesson and if you apply it now in all different aspects of your, of your life, even when you are going through hard times, remind yourself to be kind with yourself. You will recognize that so many changes will start manifesting in your life and that's where we recognize, oh, powerful breakthroughs are happening for me. So this is a powerful sign, my friends, that you may experience right now a realization of the lessons you've gained until now. So pay attention to them. And because of that, you may recognize that your relationships are shifting, that people are starting to treat you differently in a positive way. And this is because your core vibration is changing and suddenly you are becoming more honest with people around you because you've become more honest with yourself. And nobody can deny that. Once you become more honest with people, people will become more honest with you. And this is to me such a beautiful transformation that I always see it around me. I always see when I become more honest with myself and when I learn to be more honest with people, I'm always amazed how honest people around me become with me. And that's where it's much easier to get with any single person to get into those deep conversations, you know, we shorten down the, the small talks and we leng lengthen up the, the deep conversations, which is truly empowering and truly beautiful to see. So if you're experiencing any of that right now, it is, isn't it beautiful to see? And even if not, the next days will be even more powerful on those areas. So maybe right now I will make more videos um, as those energy updates. We'll see, let me know in the comments below what you think about it. And also write in the comments below how you feel right now. Do you feel those energy shifts and how you are experiencing them? There's another powerful sign you may experience and it is vivid dreams. Many of you may experience right now more vivid dreams. You may dream about your future, you may dream about having already wanting manifestations, you may dream about 
yourself being in a completely different environment, in a completely different reality, but uh, with same insights and with same realizations that you have already experienced them right at this lifetime. So you may dream about it because um, like your soul is maybe exploring a little bit how, how you would respond if with same realizations you would be in a completely different situation to see how strong you already are, how strong your focus is, how strong your awareness is and, and how well you understand the realizations that life has taught you. So those dreams are really powerful and it's important to remember them. So every single morning when you wake up and you realize that you had so many vivid dreams or you had powerful vivid dreams, write them down and ask yourself, what can you learn from those dreams? What those dreams have taught you? You will see again, amazing realizations will come to you. And in ancient times, for example, Native Americans had a ritual where every single morning they started um, communicating with each other about dreams. They started discussing dreams um, to recognize what they can learn from each other. And this is truly powerful. So also today is the last day of May and tomorrow we are entering into a month of June, which is coming under the number six. And number six is vibrating in that trustful vibration, the vibration of perfection and vibration of completion. So it is important to understand that because as we are moving into the month of June, you may experience a greater trust for your path that you are walking right now. And maybe you will, you will start perfecting your plans, your dreams that you're working on. And everything will start moving with greater ease, with greater flow. So just embrace the changes that are happening right now. And fully merge yourself through those breakthroughs that are happening for you right at this moment. It's truly a powerful moment to celebrate any breakthrough you can find in your life right now. So think about different areas. Maybe you've experienced certain breakthroughs when it comes to your beliefs. You know, maybe you've recognized that certain beliefs were just not serving you anymore. And that's a great breakthrough, right? You're, you're upgrading your beliefs or you're letting go of the beliefs which are not serving you anymore. Not that beliefs are bad, but beliefs are limiting us. So it is our job to upgrade our knowledge, to upgrade our, um, our intellectual knowledge. So think about it. Maybe you've experienced some breakthroughs on that emotional level, emotional body. Maybe you've experienced some release of the the, the lower emotions, the stored emotions, maybe some traumas came to the surface. So you would recognize what to do with that. Do you still need those memories? Have you gained the lessons from those memories? Can you do something with that? Can you express those emotions somewhere um, in a loving way, for example, to, to create something like an artwork out of certain um, stored emotions just to pull them out? You don't need to, you know, show that art to the world, but just to pull those emotions out. If emotions are energy in motion and they get stored, it's on us to, to bring them um, out of us once again. So often people are writing their emotions down on the paper, how they feel. They're writing down the pain, the, the struggle, the fears, the anger, and then they just burn, uh, burn down the paper, you know. Um, so you can see how your pain and how anything negative is is slowly transforming into the ashes so you can experience a greater light in your body. That's where you go from that heavier energy into the lighter energy and you become light. So 
all of that may happen to you right now or in the next few days. Pay attention to this different aspects of how you're sensing yourself right now, how you're sensing your emotions, how you're sensing your feelings, how you're sensing your mind, your perception, your awareness over yourself, the awareness over your environment. Do you see things the same as before or do you see things differently? Do you see maybe more vivid colors? Do you see maybe more uh, beauty in nature? Do you see maybe more beauty in people or do you see more more truth in people do you see who are those who are truly walking um, with honesty with bravery with love and who are those who are constantly you know hiding something maybe certain agendas or who are you know you can sense the truth in people and if that is happening to you right now, you're moving through those powerful breakthroughs, your energy is rising, your consciousness is expanding and you are becoming more aware. So prepare for the breakthroughs because they are, they are happening right now. If you feel any of that that I was talking today about, beautiful. If not, still beautiful. Just ground yourself. Pay attention to, you know, take time in a day and truly pay attention just how you're sensing yourself, how you're sensing life at this moment. Don't distract yourself with judgments and, and truly just observe how do you feel, how you're responding to the present moment and pay attention. Could you be more grounded in your life? Could you be maybe more aware when it comes to certain events which triggers you, which, which awakens those lower emotions? And recognize, could you respond differently? Could you catch yourself at the moments where you become unconscious and respond with greater awareness, with greater love, with greater compassion and see what happens. Practice that and pay attention to how will you feel after you accomplish this. Because you may recognize that a beautiful transformation may happen with the simplest things, you know, you don't need to to climb to the top of the mountain, to experience a transformation. Sometimes you just need to catch yourself at the moments where you used to be unconscious and respond more consciously. And you will see that that's a great victory. So think about that. And now I will leave you here, my friends. Today I played uh, to you the painting rose which grows through the concrete because this painting represents that powerful breakthrough that is happening for for all of us all the time sometimes we need to go through the overwhelming breakdowns to have an undeniable breakthroughs and maybe that's just you right now so celebrate yourself and say to yourself that I am already enough, I am good enough, I am perfectly well the way I am and I am ready for new beginnings, for new transformations, for new opportunities, for new blessings, for new abundance, for new love and anything else which can uplift you, which can inspire you so you can become the greater version of you. This is it for today, my friends. I'm sending you lots of love, blessings and power. Have a beautiful day and till next time, one love.